Hey everyone, this is going to be a little bit of a different video. I kind of wanted to give you guys a uh, walk around my house, um, well not the house, the outside of the house, show you guys what I've been up to. So this is not going to be very much lifting or fitness related. I am going to talk a little bit about what's going on with Glenn and his training towards the next competition, but I kind of want to show you what's been going on in my life, why I haven't really been able to do any sort of YouTube or anything like that. So uh, let's get started here, and I apologize in advance for uh, these cameras. I'm not really good at like spinning that camera around and doing that kind of stuff. So you can see out here, uh, this is the front yard. So you can see this is all mulched in. I um, need to put in new mulch, but we've been having a couple of windstorms. So problem number one that I've had, we had a very cold spring. So we weren't able to work until about now. And uh, I got a lot of dead spots in the front yard. But we've been kind of working on getting the, the front garden ready. I've got to tear this out, this nasty carpet stuff. I'm not sure what's underneath of there. But i got to get some pavers. But uh, this is a new trailer my, my dad's letting me borrow for a while. But... In these storms, we've just had so many branches and things just snap and tear down. This is a little bit that's left out here in the front. You see here, there's a couple of leaves and some dirt. I'm going to show you that in a second. But we had leaves from the fence all the way to that nasty basketball post I still got to deal with. And we've been burning. We've been dealing with that. But I used to have a couple of apple trees out here. And they are all gone. So I had uh, one right there. You can see the stump. Another stump there, and a third stump over there. So that is unfortunate. And this is a shot. Hopefully, Kevin likes this. Maybe a couple of the rest of you might enjoy that. Some pretty trees there. Got a, another nice tree right over there. I'm not sure what it's called. Should have got out here when the flowers were really huge and nice. But I uh, got to fix this fence up. It's starting to lean over. Got to tear that out. But you can see you got a couple of ladders out here from from my dad. This is where we started getting the fun projects. So uh, this is some wood and stuff from yesterday. We had to do some more tear off because the roof's still leaking, as I mentioned a couple times. So that's really expensive. At this point, unfortunately, you know, the money's just, uh, it's gonna cost what it is. And I can't really mow with uh, some issues I'm having. So bought this, because they had a 0% financing deal. So uh, this is an Xmark Radius E48. It's kind of a uh, uh, higher-end residential model. You can see I've got the yoke out here for, for Glenn. And uh, we're going to walk here in the back for just a second. So uh, we're turning this around. And, you know, buying that, that zero turn is something I've wanted for a long time. But, you know, the money, it just wasn't there with the roof, how much that's going to cost. But, you know, it just needed to happen. And I decided, you know what? I already got to spend all this money on everything else. Let's just go ahead and do this. And uh, this is what we did yesterday. You can see here, I got the siding tore off there. I had to rebuild the corner there. Um, my dad did most of this work, so I can give him all props. Him and my mom came out, and I appreciate both of them. They help me out all the time with this. So you can see there, that's just some temporary water and ice shield to get the water away from the roof. Now we had to replace the boards there, we had to replace the boards up there, it was completely rotted off. And um, that, this is the first rain that we've had where nothing's come in the house. So, uh, we'll call a couple more of these here. I, I started proving this, obviously I am not even close to being done. Uh, I just started a little bit there, it was a little bit overgrown. I still gotta get at the top and everything. Uh, but here's another leaf pile. Here is lawnmower problem number one. Now this was a hand-me-down of a hand-me-down. And this thing is just, it's been sitting out here for a while. I gotta push it out the front, because this is just garbage. But, uh, yeah, I'm not a mechanic, but that doesn't look right. You know, there's some playing around with that, trying to get that to work. Kept catching up fire, burning through. And this is the seat to the tractor that I was given last year. Um, my, my dad got it from my grandma. This is my grandpa's old John Deere, which is like 20 years old, but rusted through. And when, <laughs> when you are as fat as me, it does not do well to sit on rusted things because they break. So out uh, here, uh, we just put the trampoline up. Today we got to get the, the netting around there for the kids. But look, they, they missed some leaves. So we're going to re... Look, look, more, more sticks. 
four sticks. Uh, and so I just got a roller, but unfortunately I can't get the tractor to start. So I can't use it. And you see there's a trailer tire. I had to get that replaced. Uh, so that's the old one sitting there. I just put the new one on. Um, this, I've been fighting this also. Last year I decided to put up a little pool for the kids and it killed all the grass. And I said, you know what, that'll just grow back. Well, it grew in kind of splotchy. So that's no good. And I've got some spots here still. Uh, you can kind of see the outline there in the different colored grass, which is a little bit unfortunate. This this all used to be a pool. And um, the house I bought, this is a foreclosure. So the people that owned the house before me, uh, they got mad. And they slashed the line of the pool. They t tore all of the tubing out and it started to collapse. And it was like, it was going to be like $30,000 to get fixed, which I don't have 30000 so that uh, was a, nope, we're filling it in. Uh, so let me kind of move this around here. Got to get in the shed. Can I do this with that hand? Oh, what is going on? Nope, pausing. All right, got, got it open. This is uh, another project that I need to tackle. You can see there the, the top. I mean, this is already rotting, and i kind of just been putting it off. Because I didn't want to buy a bunch of new wood, but I gotta replace this whole part here, paint it. And this is another thing that my dad did for me. We finally got electrical out here, but uh, we had to he had to fix the line going through here. I mean, I I helped like maybe a little bit. I probably actually made it more difficult. Uh, but so we have lights here in the shed. But this is this is that John Deere, right? And you see, you see no seat, I just ride around with no seat. But uh, tried. Taking uh, and put I put a new fuel line filter in there. That's the, like the only thing I knew how to do and uh, Ended up having to take apart the carburetor, which is the very first time I have ever done that I'm not a mechanic and that was a nightmare I think I've probably spent about eight hours trying to get this tractor going We finally got it started and ran for like a day the next day it wouldn't start again So got to take it apart again and now I know how to do it kind of but this is my, my walk behind and uh, this was my my first big purchase for my lawn care business and I, I kept this but I sold my my commercial zero turn uh, back my last year of college and I still, I kept this but unfortunately can't really use this whole bit I, I did use it out by the pond so it's pretty dirty right now but I have this thatcher and, and this aerator that was also my grandpa's uh, you can see the plow there too it was a I mean this is a really nice tractor but it's like 20 years old so it, it's it's on its last legs, um, but I was hoping to use that. I got some light here because my yard, um, I don't think the people before me ever dethatched, uh, but I just uh, gave up on ever being able to get this tractor running. So I kind of just uh, ran a light rake through part of it. I'm not a big fan of running. And I ended up having to pull the trailer full of dirt myself. And, uh, Put some fertilizer down that, that spot you can kind of see a couple of brown spots over there by those flower trees uh, this, this whole area was brown so it's starting to green up a little bit this is the backyard and uh, I want to show you a couple of terrible projects I've had here you can kind of see that over there fences broken apart and it's also from the windstorm so check this out half my pine tree broke off right there I see it. <laughs> it just looks kind of funny. There's no no branches on this side now. <sighs> and there, there's the, the pole barn we work out at. My white picket fence. Uh, but that post broke. It's kind of just sitting there. I still got to get to that one. We replaced one. And there's another one behind the pole barn. But this right here is where the nightmare has kind of been this last week and a half. So you can see I got a bunch of dead stuff out here. Uh, we kind of tried to unplug this little stream here. And um, this right here, those black culverts, I end up putting those in. And uh, I got to clean it up a little bit because it started to erode because the people over here, these are the old culverts, they messed this up. And this, uh, you can see I got grass seed down there. And here's some of my apple tree from the front yard. I was I was able to to toss because I just got this built or uh, filled in yesterday, 
and uh, I was actually just picking up the boards and throwing them across the other side. These last two were a little too heavy for me to do in my gimp state. But we, we had to replace the culvert that runs right under here because they had this thing here. Look at this. So first project that had to get done so I could get to the backyard where a lot of my projects are going to be. They had cut this culvert in half. Do you see this? This is ridiculous. Like, who does that? And, and so it's just this nasty, sharp, rusty edge. You can't grab it anywhere. And you can see it's bent. It's because I basically got a little bit out, and then I had to bend it and push it up um, and tear that out. A piece of this wire fence had fallen into the stream there. got that torn out. But in addition to all of that, they had put a bunch of cement on top of it. So I had to break through the cement. It just it took forever. So this is... Uh, the next thing that I'm working on, this is my pond. So first thing, we got to take care of this. Uh, you can see I kind of mowed around it. This is some nasty bush, and I give up on trying to make it look good. I don't know. I thought it was supposed to flower, but it's just ugly. So I'm going to get rid of that. And uh, you can see why did you not weed whack? Well, I've been having some issues with my hands. So my left wrist was sprained from doing physical therapy. Well, two weeks ago, my right hand started hurting really bad to the point I could not open or close my, my hand without extreme pain. And I had to actually tape it to a ball for a day, which was, which was fun. That was two weekends ago. And then two days ago, my left wrist into the palm region was hurting really bad. I felt like somebody was stabbing through my hand. And now the right hand has started to hurt again. Like, it's, just, it's really painful to, to try and close it. So I'm worried I'm going to be getting some sort of arthritis going on there. But this pond, I, I wasn't able to weed whack. And the water level is just so high right now. But this is another apple tree. Wish I would have gotten here before the rain. You can see all those petals fell down. But this fell over in the windstorm too. And I'm trying to save it. You can see I, I created like a little arch, but the top of the tree, you know, was right here, and it's just completely laying over. So um, this this fell over in the previous windstorm, not the most recent one, and uh, you can see obviously by the dead grass. But I cut all that out, uh, planted some more grass seed here. Hopefully that grows. It's kind of shady. I'm gonna put a, a sandy beach in here eventually, so the kids can swim in this. But you can see I got some dirt out here. Muskrats came in here in the fall and winter and they've been digging tunnels throughout this entire bank. And like I was just standing here walking around doing some <laughs> branches and I sunk down about a foot. So uh, you gotta take care of all of this. This is just a problem. You can see some flowers out here starting to come in. Another tree fell down here, took out part of my fence. I had another tree that fell down here. I took care of that. And here is this burn pile. Look at this. Look at this huge nasty thing that looks so ugly. Um, basically my, <laughs> I've burned twice this already. And this is what I still have left from this most recent windstorm and, and cutting down some stuff. I've got some trees trying to grow through the pine tree here. Take care of those. Clean it up a little bit. Back here, I gotta take care of some of these weeds. I'm losing too much in my yard. This next door is a swamp, so this is a very fun source of mosquitoes, but also the muskrats. So these stupid muskrats are trying to connect the swamp to the pond, which I don't like. So you can see this, this is basically as far as I, I dared mow. And I'll, I'll see if you guys can see this on the camera. I'm not sure how well it's going to show up. You can see here, it's starting to erode on the side there. Oh, this is just all holes. You can see there I had tried to step and went right in. Another big hole there. Another one there. This is a big hole. I already put a little bit of dirt in there and some dirt and some leaves. But look at that. You know, they, they went in, they dug a hole there, and went straight across into the pond. So I put uh, a little bit of concrete. I'm going to take that back out, but just to stop the water because I don't want it to erode any, any further that way. And I got a trap put out here. Hopefully we can catch some stuff, we'll see. We will see. You never know with that kind of stuff, whether or not. Whoa, woohoo, that scared me. 
Oh, my heart's like, Rosa. That was a big bullfrog. I'm not afraid of frogs. But uh, muskrats, on the other hand, um, my dog got one and almost took off her nose. I mean, those things have some nasty teeth and claws. But this has started to erode. I've been working on that. I'm going to put some bri bricks in there. You can see I've already got some down in there. And then put dirt on that. Hopefully that'll stop the water. This is a new spot that water's coming from. Glenn thinks it's a spring. I'm really hoping that's not what it is because that'll cause all sorts of problems. But it's running into this ditch, which is causing a problem with the swamps trying to flow through here too. I've called the drainage commission several times and they haven't come out here. This, <sighs> this is a extension cord that the people before me put out here and I can't get it unburied on this side. So I just kind of threw it up there because I'm lazy. But unfortunately, <laughs> they, didn't, they didn't bury it and well they buried it a little bit but uh, they didn't put a tube or anything around it so I hit it my first time mowing here which was awesome <laughs> and I got some work to do on this fence you can see here these uh, these brackets don't hold together super well so that it just broke so I gotta get some new brackets and fix that but again it's eroding so th this sunk down so I put some dirt in there huh. Hopefully that'll fight it. But this whole thing just kind of washed away because that was clogged. This looks really ugly right now. So I kind of feel bad showing you guys that. But I haven't been able to weed back yet. <laughs> and I mean, it was, it was cold until the first week of May here. I mean, like really cold. And I started working right away. Couldn't get the tractor started. I wasn't in any sort of condition to be able to do the walk behind. You know, my, my ankle's still jacked up from rolling it. Um, that, that's not done yet. And now my hands, I don't know if it's arthritis or if working is apparently too much for my hands. You know, you'd think with like holding onto like deadlifts, farmer's holds, all that kind of stuff, my hands would be okay. But man, I mean, it, it is painful. Best way I can describe it is it feels like there's something sharp inside of uh, my my hands it's not quite the the wrist it's a little bit above that and every time I move I'm taking like muscles and stuff and hitting that and, and it hurts so oh I was gonna talk about um, Glenn's stuff so he's got a lot of work to do on the overhead still he's basically struggling on the log anything like 195 he can hit but then sometimes he misses it. I don't know what's going on there. He's got to do 225. We got the axle out. He did uh, 195. That was easy for him. So I think the axle's going to be all right. The dumbbell's a no-go. Like, neither one of us could handle that. I'm losing a lot of light here. Uh, the deadlift, he's got some work to do. We just set that back up with the uh, pendulum apparatus that we developed with the two barbells um, going to the wall. So we pulled that out today. He's just doing some reps. The keg toss is going great. I mean, he's got the height there, which is a big change. He's never been able to generate the height. So uh, we'll see how that holds up with the weights as they get heavier. But right now, I mean, he's easily clearing 16 feet. No problem. And um, stones, we haven't done a lot of stones, but he's doing some stone extensions where you hold in your lap and you go up and then you come back down to your lap and just do that. And we're doing that to work on his explosive power, but also getting him used to holding the stone on his chest. He's been having a lot of problems through since we started, where as soon as he gets anything on his chest, he can't breathe. So that's with the log, that's with the stones, and then he just kind of gasses out. So we gotta get them, him working up to that, get him comfortable in holding that up there because he's got a lot of stuff to do. We, we brought out the yoke.